Hello everyone and welcome, Valyuf here. Today we'll be discussing how we as Holy Paladins can succeed in a raiding environment. In my previous video on the subject, we went through the talent builds and general playstyle, which is a great start if you want to start raid healing. I have left a link in the description of this video or you can click the link above. That guy did not show actual raid healing gameplay, which this one will. In this video, we'll do a short summary of the talent build and how to play it, but then we will jump straight into this heroic smolderon kill I did last week with a pug group. We will discuss our CD cycles and how to plan them out, and we'll go over how we can heal the raid in between our CDs. The smolderon boss encounter is an excellent example of how to do this, as the damage cycles of the encounter line up really well with our 45 second daybreak and divine toll CDs. But before we get into the weeds of this topic, please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and also let me know what issues you might be having on your Holy Paladin in the comments. I respond to every comment and I try to be as helpful as possible. Also consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out. Let's check out the raid build really quickly. If you want a more in-depth analysis of it, check out the video I mentioned earlier. I've also left a link to this talent build in the description of the video. We are running the low Holy Power build for raiding, as that is the highest potential throughput out of all of our options. Because of this, this guy will be focused on how to play with this build in mind. This build requires us to make heavy use of Flash of Light, and we are to use all of our Infusion of Light procs on Flash of Light. We are not going to be doing a whole lot of damage with this build, as we won't be using any of our Holy Power generating DPS spells at all. Now, if you have nothing to do for long periods of time, then sure, smack the boss around a bit. But in general, you want to use your GCDs for your Glimmer Prep and Flash of Lights. You would only spend your Holy Power on Light of Dawn or Word of Glory once you have at least one stack of Blessing of Dawn, but preferably two. No Shield of the Righteous use with this build at all. But now, let's get into the boss fight, and let's start by going over the basic damage cycles of this boss and what we need to do to plan for them. I want you guys to pay attention to my action tracker here on the left side of my screen. It shows you everything I'm doing and to whom. Starting at 16 seconds into the fight, the first cast of Brand of Damnation will happen. This is where some people in your raid have to go soak with the tank and the others move to the side to drop their fire tornadoes. The second soak will happen 30 seconds after the first one. That's a very important thing to remember. This soak does a lot of damage and puts a heal absorb on the people that soaked that we as healers need to heal through as fast as possible or the players will die. Here is what we as Holy Paladins need to do on this fight and quite frankly, we follow the same type of structure on any boss encounter. Number one, right at the start of the fight, we go straight into our combo prep phase. Make sure you spread all your glimmers out before the first soak hits, and also make sure you send out your Tears Deliverance and Hand of Divinity to get that extended halt out on your raid. As soon as the soak hits and the absorb is on the players, we execute our Daybreak and Divine Toll combo. This does a lot of healing, but you now also have tons of Holy Shocks to pump into the players that might still have the Absorb on them or is low on health. The second soak comes up 30 seconds after the first one, so our Daybreak and Divine Toll will not be available when that damage goes out. This is the start of our first healing maintenance phase. What we can and should do before the second soak goes out is making sure that we have all of our Glimmers out on people. Once the second soak hits, Prioritize Holy Shocks to heal the people with the Heal Absorb, but also weave in Flash of Lights when you're waiting on Holy Shock to become available again. This stage also serves as our second CD prep phase, as we'll be using our combo very soon once we enter the boss's intermission stage. Let's pause here for a moment. What we just went over is about 45 to 50 seconds of the beginning of this fight. We had two CD prep phases, one CD phase, and we had one healing maintenance phase. In order to execute all of these phases efficiently, we have to ensure that we are constantly applying glimmers to our party members. If we do not quickly get our 8 glimmers out before the next damage cycle, we are losing out on healing throughput. Holy Shock usage is the highest priority spell at all times. No other ability in our kit is more important for our healing throughput. Let's get back to the next stage of the fight, which is the intermission phase, which starts at 1 minute and 8 seconds into the fight and lasts for 30 seconds. Because our decision to use Daybreak and Divine Toll on the first soak, it means we'll have both of them available here going into the intermission. Once again, we pump out as many glimmers as we can on our raid to set up our combo. As soon as the damage goes out, 
I hit Daybreak, removing all of those Glimmers, which does a lot of healing, and then immediately hit Divine Toll for direct healing, but also apply Glimmers back onto my raid. I now proceed to send out my Holy Shocks onto the raid for significant healing on all of my Glimmer targets. When Holy Shock is on cooldown, I also weave in my other healing spells in between, but prioritize using Flash of Light as much as possible. I make sure that I am back up to max Glimmers as soon as possible to maximize the number of people that will receive healing. I used Tears Deliverance at the start of this boss fight, and it comes off a cooldown towards the tail end of the intermission phase. I make sure to use it before the phase ends, so it's up and running for the next round of soak damage. I'm also using my Holy Power on Light of Dawn for AoE healing or Word of Glory to top off specific players. The intermission stage of this fight combines all of our phases as a Holy Paladin, in that we start off with the CD phase for massive healing, we then go straight into maintenance phase to heal the group through the pulsating damage, but in doing so we are also prepping for the soak that will be coming shortly after the intermission ends. The third soak comes out at 1 minute and 54 seconds from the start of the fight. Let's do some basic math here. Our last CD phase was at roughly 1 minute and 8 seconds. That means that our Daybreak and Divine Toll will be coming off a CD at roughly 1 minute and 53 seconds, or 45 seconds later. This is just before the third soak damage goes out. That's a pretty nice setup from a timing standpoint, which allows us to take advantage of the boss timers really well. The fight then repeats itself until the boss is dead. It's now up to you holy paladins out there to practice executing all of the phases we need to do in any boss encounter. We have our CD prep phase, where we make sure we have all of our glimmers out. We have our CD phase, where we make sure to use our Daybreak and Divine Toll combo at the right time during the fight to maximize healing. We need to make sure to use our other healing spells during the maintenance phase to continue to push out healing in between damage cycles. This means managing infusion of light procs and flash of light cast, and making sure to use your holy power only when you have at minimum one stack of blessing of dawn, but preferably two. We need to also recognize when our maintenance phase needs to turn into our CD prep phase again. There is also the fact that you need to do all of this while not standing in bad stuff yourself and making sure you are executing other mechanics in the fight correctly. All of this requires you to know the boss fight quite well, so you can plan out all of your spells and your CDs appropriately. There are multiple ways to do this, and if you're interested in learning how I do it, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this fight. Pay extra attention to my action tracker on the left side. After everything we've discussed so far in this video, it should be really really simple for you guys to identify what phase I am currently in. If you're still having a problem figuring that out, go back and re-watch the video again. If something still isn't quite clear to you, please hit me up in the comments. I'm more than happy to help out when I can. I am also going to show you guys the first stage of the Tindril fight. This can be quite the intense phase from a damage standpoint, but it's another really good example of how we can go through all of our phases and do a significant amount of healing while doing so. There are multiple times during the first phase where the entire raid takes a significant amount of damage, which is a perfect environment for our Glimmer mechanic as well as our Daybreak and Divine Toll combo. See if you can spot which phase I'm in throughout the first stage here. That is it for this raid healing video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.